What's up, freaks and geeks? Welcome back to Lower Res DIY. So, a couple videos back, I installed Qubit Torrent, but I installed the uh, supported version that comes with TrueNAS Scale. Since then, I've, I've gotten into checking out True Charts, and definitely uh, we're going to use that version in this video. We're going to do a quick install of it, and then we're going to use OpenVPN and Private Internet Access, and we are going to connect the two. That way, uh, you know, we can keep what we're doing, our downloads, whatever, private to ourselves. Nobody else needs to know. So let's get at it. Okay. All right, once we get logged into our system, the first thing I'm going to want to do is I want to create a, another data set and I want to create it under my apps here just so we can store a few files that we're going to need. So let's uh, add a data set and I'm going to name it uh, OpenVPN slash PIA. Actually, the heck with all that. Let's just call it PIA make life simple on me and scroll down to the bottom we're going to save it and change the permissions and i want them to be app and app give the group right access also because i took and i added my local username low res i added it to the apps group this will give me uh, the ability to access it through my desktop here of course, I want to do it with pseudo privileges and to all children data sets that are underneath it. So we'll save it. After that, I want to create a share because I do need access to it. And save that guy. So that is set up. DaVinci still downloading. I'm going to go ahead and add that data set or add that share to my desktop. So this PC, map drives, and it was called PIA. Finish it up. And okay, now we have PIA connected to uh, this desktop. We'll go ahead and get back out of that. Now we're gonna go down to apps available applications and let's do a search for qubit the one we want right here is uh the one in yellow let me go ahead and get my epi pen moved is the one in yellow that's the true charts version of it and that's definitely the one we want to utilize so let's go ahead and click install go ahead and copy our name down and we are going to scroll Go ahead and accept everything until we get to our permissions down here. I want to add, or not our permissions, but our storage and persistence. And I want to add an external source, which is going to be my media, which is where, as you can see, I've got movies and everything else in there. Right click that and let's copy it and paste it down here forward slash media. Then we're just going to next all the way through all these guys. And then we're gonna save it. Give it time to go ahead and uh, install. All right, now that it is installed, it's up and running, we wanna go ahead and log into it with password admin, or not password, but uh, username admin, password admin admin. All right, so it's up and running right now. I want to go, uh, we're going to go ahead and click on the little gear up here, right there. We're going to click on that guy. And then we want downloads right there. And the part we're looking for is this guy right here, default save path. We're going to change that to media. And then we'll go ahead and save it. Next thing we're going to want to do is actually test this out to make sure it's able to get to the internet and actually download something. So let's do a search for test warrant. All right, this is a good one right here. I use this every once in a while to test it. Let's try to download Big, Big, Bug, Big Buck Bunny. Right click on the magnetic link, 
copy link address. We'll go back to Qubit Torrent up here in the upper right. This little chain looking thing. Click on it. Click on it. Right click and paste that link in there. And then you want to make sure that our save took on the default uh, download area. Save file to location forward slash media. That's what we want. Let's click download and see if it works. All right, so it is totally working now. We know it's good to go. Our next step is uh, let's go ahead and get out of this guy and go back to our True Nash Scale server. And there's something I want to show you. We're going to go ahead and click on the three dots right there. And then we are going to click on Shell right here. Right now, the only thing in here is Qubit Torrent. So we're going to choose that. Once it comes up, we're going to use a curl command. ipconfig.io. And right there, it, it will give you your IP address, which that is my real IP address. And hopefully when I edit this, I remember to fuzz it out. So right now we know we are on our regular IP address. So with... Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to connect, uh, connect our Qubit Torrent uh, app to uh, private internet access. Now, to be quite honest, the hardest part of this whole setup, at least for me, was finding this right here, which are the files that we're going to need to uh, make that connection. For some reason, I mean, even right here, it's in their frequently asked questions section. Where is it? I don't know why the hell they, they buried it and hit it, but they buried it and hit it for some reason. I'm going to choose the bottom one right here. Open VPN configuration file strong TCP. I'm going to click it. It's going to download and everything. Now up here, I've already went through and for a couple of more popular ones uh open vpn i found the website for that and it actually has them broken out into individual servers so you don't have to get a zip file or anything and surfshark you can just throw this up in your address bar here let's just copy paste it in and if you hit when you hit enter it will start downloading the surfshark configuration files. I'll have these links down in the description for you. Just in case you use one of these three, it'll make it a little easier on you because like, I'm not kidding for PIA, private internet access. It took me a little while to, to find the doggone thing. So let's go into our downloads file and our downloads. And you can see I've d downloaded them and right here, open VPN strong. Let's go ahead and extract that guy. And if you double click on it to open this up, you'll see here are all the servers associated with it. And somewhere in here, I know it has the certificate right there, the cert and the uh, permit or whatever the hell it's called. But we really don't need any of that. All we need to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to right click on this Chicago, US Chicago open VPN file because I'm relatively close to Chicago. It's probably the closest one to me out of everything on this list. And I'm going to copy that over to that PIA directory that we created at the beginning of the video. So I'm going to paste that guy in. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on it and I want to rename it and I want to take this OVPN off and turn it into a a conf file hit enter it's going to ask you if you really want to do this and you're going to say yes you really want to do this next thing you know let's go ahead and minimize that so back in our server we're going to click on the three little dots right there we're going to hit edit scroll all the way to the bottom and down here add-ons vpn that's the section you want we're going to click on this and we're going to choose open VPN. Once we pick that guy, we'll go ahead and scroll up here. The next thing it's going to want is your authentication username and your authentication password. Now, 
For a private internet access, they will have sent you a username with a temporary password. All their usernames start out with the letter P, and then normally it's a series of numbers after that. And then the password is what you set up after you log in for the first time. So let's go ahead and put our password in. And throw our password in. Got them backwards, username and password. Throw those guys in. And then they, now we need to tell it where our configuration file location is. So, so editing Jason here, notice that I missed a step when I originally recorded that. And that was this guy right here, the enable uh, kill switch. Of course, we want to enable that so that if our VPN goes down, it stops downloading anything. What we need to do is we are going to add configuration kill switch excluded IPv4 network. We're going to add two of those. So we'll click add. The first one is my regular network in my home. And the second one, not point one point zero point zero slash 16. This is the Kubernetes network that was set up in uh, through TrueNAS scale. And to find that second uh, network address that you need for Kubernetes, you can go to Settings, Advanced Settings, and if you scroll down, it's, uh, it's right there, right there. So just in case you wanted to know where that came from. So let's go back to our regular schedule, regularly scheduled programming. We're going to hit mount. You're always going to have mount in the front of, at the front of this. And then let me actually double check. Okay. So we'll do mount bulk apps PIA. So let's go back to this mount bulk apps PIA and then forward slash and we're going to tell it what that file name is in our case us underscore chicago dot com and this should be it so let's go ahead and save it go ahead and start it up and then hit the three dots again we're going to go back into our shell we can see now there's another container connect connected to it it's not only uh, Qubit Torrent, but it's open VPN. Let's click on Qubit Torrent, click choose, and let's run that curl command again. And look at that. Our IP address, that's not narrow. Our IP address changed. That is the IP address that Private Internet Access just gave us. So now we're kind of hidden, you know, encoded, decoded, encoded, decoded, transcoded coded somehow, encrypted, so that when we download something, it's us. We're the ones that know what it is. So let's go ahead and log back in. Click on that. Let's go back up to our gear. And we're going to change. Well, I went a little fast there. So, okay. We're going to click onto our gear. And then we are going to go into our advanced right there. And under advanced, you'll see network interface. And right now it's telling it to use any interface. We don't want to do that. We want to force it to use this tunnel that we just created. So we're going to click on the tunnel and we are going to save it. Now it is definitely set up. It's running through our VPN and, and we're, we're hidden right now. So let's try downloading another one of these guys. Let's right click on the magnet, copy link, go back to Qubit Torrent and paste it in. There you go. All right, job done. So we just got back some of our uh, privacy from our internet service provider. So that's pretty awesome, I think. Uh, again, if you like these types of videos, go ahead, do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe button, and we'll catch you later.